What's up YouTube? So I recently replaced the catalytic converter on the 2009 Mitsubishi Galant. Now, this isn't going to be my usual how-to video. This is more so a reference video. Now the reason I replaced this catalytic converter is because it sounded like this. Ring, 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 ring. Every time it started up, it sounded like an ice cream truck. It sounded like a guy at the 7-Eleven putting nickels on the counter. It sounded like a slot machine going off. I don't know why, but this catalytic converter reminded me of Pocket Full of Stones by UGK. And that bright, beautiful check engine light on the dashboard was a dead giveaway. plan of attack for removal was to undo the two bolts at the flange then with the reciprocating saw make a cut right behind the catalytic converter towards the back end i used a 19 millimeter deep well socket to try to remove these two bolts So at this point, I went from an 18-inch breaker bar to a 24-inch breaker bar. It still ain't coming on. So what do you do in a situation like that? Use heat. I broke up the Mat Pro torch. Still ain't coming off. So I went and got a 12.18 millimeter socket. I used my hammer, knocked it on there, hit it with the impact wrench, came right off. Now the new catalytic converter, despite what they say in the description, wasn't a direct fit. So I had to expand the pipe, but the problem was I expanded the wrong pipe. We, we all make mistakes, you know. So what I ended up having to do is modify the new catalytic converter so I had to make a cut to where it widens out at so that I could slip that over the part that was still on the car. So my tailpipe expander tool decided to break into a million little pieces inside the new catalytic converter. I had to grab some pliers and wrestle it out. That's what twenty dollars get you. Cheap Chinese knockoff. So after you remove the catalytic converter, putting it back in is actually pretty easy. The hardest part is already out the way. Bolt the front part back on and slip the rear end over the already existing pipe and you're done.
New catalytic converter looking good. So let's start it up and see if it still sounds like an ice cream truck. No, it doesn't, but it does have an exhaust leak. I gotta get back down there and tighten those bolts. I don't know why I decided to use a stubby half inch drive ratchet to tighten those bolts. You get down there with the 24 inch and give it a good Okay, so now that that's all done and out the way, come take a look at the catalytic converter I pulled off. Just, just, just look at it. Just, just take a look. Damn! What the hell is that? That's not good. Now, I also want y'all to keep in mind before attempting to do this yourself, that nine times out of 10, Catalytic converters go bad because something else in the system caused them to go bad. For instance, a misfire, your engine is dumping raw fuel into the exhaust system and that's burning up in the catalytic converter and causing it to fail prematurely. Now if you don't fix the issue, then the new catalytic converter you put on is going to fail rather quickly. So it was a guy up there that decided to talk my head off you know it's always the older dude he just walks up to me and you know just you don't know what you doing over there you don't know nothing about what you do like, damn i do know what i'm doing then when they find out you know what you're doing oh you kind of know what you're doing huh yes well look i got a niece every time she step on the brake he go <laughs> you gotta hear older people explain car troubles Nobody explains car troubles like older people. <laughs> she step on the brake. You think you can help me with that? Think you can help that out? You think you can fix that? 